Hi everyone, how are you? In this series, I can explain the Microsoft Office 365. This series will be consist from three, four videos or four lessons or four lectures. The first lecture for or the first video, this video, to explain the cloud computing in general, and the second lecture for the OneDrive service, and the third lecture for the Word 365 and the fourth lecture for the form. So, why will you begin with the cloud computing? Simply because the Microsoft Office 365 is a cloud computing service. So, the service depends on cloud, cloud computing service. So, in this lesson or in this video, we can explain cloud computing. Now, first of all, what's the cloud computing? If you want, if you want to understand the cloud computing, you should defragment the Word, cloud and computing. So the first thing, what's the cloud? In this context, in the context of a cloud computing, a cloud simply is an internet, or in more specific, I mean the servers. So now, what's the servers? I say servers, so what's the servers? Simply the servers is a computer or a special type of computer. When I say the special type of computer, I mean a special type of hardware and a special type of software. So the special type of hardware that mean like this. I have a huge size of computer, I have a big computer. In this computer I have a special type of CPU, central processing unit, and a special type of random access memory or powerful CPU and powerful random access memory RAM, and a special type of storage, high size or huge amount of storage, uh, in the terab hundred of terabytes or exabyte or more than. So the special type of hardware and also special type of software. For example, the operating system in the, our computer, in the normal computer, in the client computers, we have Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10, right? An operating system. Or maybe you have a Mac or also maybe you have an Linux, Ubuntu, for example. In the server, we have another type of operating system, a special type of operating system, like Microsoft uh, Windows Server or the Unix many distribution of the Unix for the server and so on and also we have any, many other or a lot of programs in the server specific for the servers so the server is a special type of hardware and a special type of software and the server should connect with the internet so cloud computing we have a cloud a cloud that means the internet or the servers that connect to the internet and I say what the servers now what's the computing when I said computing not computer just pay attention here it is a different I said computing. When I said computing, that means the powerful of computer, the power of computers, or the capabilities of computers, or the capabilities, the service that computer will provide to us or to user. So computing, that means the services, the application, the hardware, the software, the power of computer, the power of hardware, the power of software, the services that computer provide. So when I said cloud computing, I mean, we transferring transferring the the power of computer, the services, the hardware, the software, the capabilities of computer to the cloud. I want to transfer the computing power to the and services to the cloud to the server. I mean, instead of the user installing the program, installing the software in the computer in my computer, and I using the application in my computer, and I using my CPU and the random access memory in my computer and the save file in the computer in my hardware in my hard drive in the computer instead of that I using this the programs and I using this part of the CPU and for the random access memory for the remote server in the internet I just need the browser and internet connection and then I can access the, so the, the software or a program from the internet in the server in the in the server in the cloud or in the server in the internet so again cloud computing that means transfer the power of computer the service the hardware the software to the remote computer in the server to the server or remote server and I, I not install the program in my computer instead i using the program that installed in the another computers in the servers so cloud computing now, the cloud computing, we have a lot of types or models or services in the cloud computing. The first of all, or the first thing we have, SAS or SAAS, that means software as a service. And also we have PaaS, 
or PAAS that means platform as a service and also we have IAAS that means infrastructure as a service what's the difference between those services first of all we have a SaaS or software as a service the software as a service that means from its name instead of I using the software in my computer software I mean for example the word Microsoft Word or uh, translator or any type of software instead of I using the software installed in my computer I just using the software that installed in the server for example I want to using the servers from Google for example Google Trans translator or Microsoft Word or whatever instead of I using my computer installed in my computer I using from the remote computer so here the SaaS or software as a service work with application here we work just with the application and also, of course, include the operating system as server. But we, we, in the specific, in particular, we using just the application. But of course, the application, the word or any application in the server, of course, the application need a server, need the operating system to work. For that, I can say here the server and middleware and application. But we using, we pay for application. We just hire the application from the server. Like what software as a service? We have a lot of services like. Office 365 and this course we will talk about Office 365 it is a, a one type of the software as a service and also we have Google Translator Google Translator you don't install the translator in the in your computer and you don't care about the updating it or uh, maintain the software or anything or the security or secure it nothing you just have a browser and an internet connection and you can access the this software and the maintaining and the, for example the upgrade update or anything or securing the application this this responsibility for the Google also iCloud for example you have iCloud if you have iPhone or Mac you have iCloud all of the, of your documents file videos anything will be on the cloud on the server for Apple if you if your mobile is stolen for example or destroy or something happen in your mobile or you lost the, your mobile for example all the your videos and images and document you can access it by using any, any mobile any other mobile or any other device just username and password you can access to all your files and folders because all your files and folders in the cloud in the server in the remote server also one drive one drive one drive it is a ser it is for the also with the office 365 one of the services instead of you you save your file in the computer locally in your computer you can save your file in the cloud like google drive for example and so on software as a service you can see just go to the google here and just to have uh, email in the google you have email you can see here all the services is software as a service here you have translator here you have google drive also for example here we have a word for example like a word here you have like an excel and so on this software I don't need to install on my computer I just have a browser and I can access the software for example this click on it now I can access it by the internet I don't need to install anything just here I have this file for example I want to open this file or I can create a new file or whatever type anything like a word but in the browser we have pass platform as a service platform as a service not for the normal user not for you for example Platform as a service, especially for developers, for a group of developers, for company that create a software, not using the software. SaaS or software as a service, that means you need to using the software, to work with the software. But in the past, if you want to create a software, to developing a new software, to develop a new software, platform as a service, as a developer, if you need to create a new software, you should have an environment. For example, the many, a lot of tools and uh, program for example, the IDEs, for example, integrated development environment and the runtime environment for testing the application or to create application or corporate to create an application with the group to save application, to share your application on your computer. You can just using the environment, ready to use environment and then create your application and share or uh, deploy your application in this environment, in the server. So platform as a server. I don't need to using the program but I want to create a new program so here you can see you don't need application you just have operating system and the servers here using the environment to create a software not using the software but to create a software in the server 
don't need to install anything in, co in your computer just you have a connection with the internet and go to the server and under the third type we have infrastructure as a service infrastructure as a service that means the infrastructure I mean by infrastructure the equipment for example the server itself the equipment for the network for example the routers the switches and so on so if you need the server just for you for example you have a company or you have a hospital or you have a new university instead of you if you buy the server it is very expensive the servers and equipment for the network and so on instead of that you just hire or just rent a server from the company from the google for example you just get a size or just take an area in the server and just using the server so in the server you can create a new program you can uh, install the software here for example in the SaaS, you have a server you have a middleware operating system but you can just using the software you cannot install anything you cannot do anything you cannot maintain the, the application you cannot up update the application or anything just using the application in the SaaS. in the past in the platform uh, platform as a service that mean you just using the environment you have a server you have a product system but you cannot add any application but you can just create application develop a new application and deploy this application and sharing to great application but you cannot you don't have an built an application just a great application here in the infrastructure as a service you don't have anything you just have a servers in the server you can install the operating system you can install the program you can create a new program you can do anything you have a server and this server for you you own the server you can create anything to your own server now the server in the United States maybe but you can using the server you can create anything install the program from the Iraq or from anywhere so an infrastructure is a server that means infrastructure that means equipment that means the physical equipment in the you can use the physical equipment from the server so why cloud computing if you say why cloud computing why are you using the cloud computing instead of I have using the local program the first of all we have a sharing in the cloud storage and the cloud computing you can easily share the information between hundreds of users you are in the Iraq and another one in the United States or anywhere you can share the information with him you can work in the same program in the same time you can create a new program in the same time because you work in the server you and your friend and your co-workers or your classmate work in the same server the server may be in the United States because 80% of the servers exist in the United States so you have a server in the United States for example the server for Google or the server for Microsoft or so on and you work in the same server also for protect your data for example if I, if I have an secret information if I have an important documents videos image so on instead of I use I save or store it or save it in my computer locally I save those information in the United States in the server in the United States in the remote server so the remote server in the remote server automatically will make a backup that means if there's a problem with the server if any problem happened in the server you can you don't lose the data your data because you have a backup you have a copy your data and paste in the another uh, another server so you have many server or a lot of servers contain your data so you never lost your data in the servers and also for security instead of your secure your computer you cannot secure your computer but the server is high secure by for example the server uh, for Microsoft or for Google of course the servers is high secure high degree of secure of security also we have the pay the payment system or the payment structure and your computer for example I installed the office Microsoft office in my computer if you don't if you using the if you purchase the this this product from the Microsoft you should pay for example $100 I don't know but just for example for example you pay $100 for a year for example but maybe you just using this product maybe just one day or two day or just two months but you pay for a year because you purchase it for a year and you pay for a year but in the cloud if you're using this service you just pay as you use if you're using one day even if you have this this program two years you you, are, you have this program you have access to, the, to this software but if you're using just two two days or two months you just pay as you use so in the cloud computer you can just pay as you use the data so it's very important for security for backup for protection the data for payment system and so on or and also share information now for the 
Microsoft Office 365 that fall in the in this category software as a service because the software we have a software and we're using the software as a service we didn't install the software the, the office in my computer but I just access it from the internet from the remote server so now for example I access my account here in the Microsoft Office 365 you can see here I don't install the program here in my computer I just using the browser the Google Chrome here and I access the my account here you can see I have Outlook here I have OneDrive here I have the Word here I have Excel I have PowerPoint I don't install anything in my computer I don't care about the updating and about all the security about the maintains the program I don't care about anything I want just go here and open the Word for example now this Word or this file here this Word file exists in the United States in the server in the United States thank you very much